Hi, I'm Femi OK. It's time for nature. I am taking you to Nairobi, Kenya, and we are going to chat to the Deputy Executive Director of the United Nations Environment Programme, Joyce Masuya. And she's going to be good because that's her job. You brought a picture with you, and this picture is you standing surrounded by youngsters. <laughs> Where are we? What is going on here? That picture is very personal, but also for me, it's an indication of possibilities. When I got this job, I went to the first secondary school that I went to in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania, partly to say thank you for producing a child, a daughter like Joyce, who has reached where I am, two, to inspire others, and three, to say to my beautiful country, Tanzania, thank you for shaping and forming my value system. So it reminds me of the old Joyce. I saw the old Joyce in the eyes, the spirit, the smell of the girls. And it reminded me of how my journey has been. I am thinking in your job, you must see lots of dire situations regarding conservation, sustainability, biodiversity, you're seeing some of the worst in the world. But what gives you hope? Give an example of something that has been changed, that we as international citizens have made a difference and gives you hope for the future. What gives me hope is the young generation. Uh, I look at my children, how they access technology, how they connect with each other, how they know how pollution in one country affects where they live. That gives me hope. How vocal they are. These are leaders of today and tomorrow. I didn't have that when I was growing up. So when I look at this combination of technology, energy in young people, the interconnectedness of the world, that gives me hope. I am looking at a picture of you in India with your hand up like this, like you know the answer. <laughs> uh, tell me more about this picture. What is going on here? The picture illustrates leadership, poverty, hope, and environment. The photo was taken in India. I visited India earlier this year. And this was a community of very poor women. Some of them were abused in their household by their husbands, domestic abuse. But they came together and started a small, medium enterprises, making beautiful fabrics handwoven. And the hand was up because they were singing in their own language, which I didn't understand, but I could feel the energy that there is hope that together we can do it. So I went in the middle of the group of amazing women. I didn't understand a word of what they were singing, but I felt I was part of them. Joyce, because you are a uh the Deputy Executive Director of UNEP, I am going to give you a speed round that I know you're going to ace. So I will say <laughs> a word or a phrase, and then you will say instantly what is either in your heart, in your mind, on the tip of your tongue. Are you ready for this challenge, Joyce? Absolutely. Delighted. Biodiversity. Life. UNEP. Hope. COVID-19. Interconnectedness. Climate change. The world. The globe. Climate action. Purpose. World Environment Day 2020. Unity. World unity. You are so good at this. <laughs> <laughs> Joyce Masuya, Deputy Executive Director of UNEP. Thanks for making time for nature.